Filipinos daily living most likely to get involved with technology. Nowadays, we can see a lot of children, even teenagers, who use social media excessively. That's why we are here in front of you. Discuss the effects of excessive screen time and social media on the minors in time. We, researchers, saw that this issue is a problem in our community nowadays that hasn't been focused on in the recent years. And so we sought elements to supply the need present in this study. And here to present the final output of this research is Tim Cyrus Gutierrez, along with Hershey Denise Delib, Blyla Licola Pomoceno, and Alan Herrera, and Andrew Miguel Bonasalas. And a pleasant day to you all. Good day everyone, I am Hershey Denise Delib. Once again, I am here in front of you to discuss the introduction, which is the chapter one. So, in our research, we have three goals. So, what are those three goals? Those three goals are stated in our statement of the problem. The first one is, identify the ex excessive screen time and social media among minors. Number two, give the factors influencing minors' overspend and overuse of social media. Number three, state the effects of excessive screen time and social media among minors. The study aspires to establish a, conclu a conclusion that will raise awareness of this issue and this also aims to do the following. Moving on to our thesis statement. The researchers saw the essence of technology in minors' daily living, which makes the social media as a major part of their day. The researchers pursue this study to focus and identify the effects of too much screen time on social media and minors' mentality. This also urges to raise awareness about the responsibility that using technology bears and probably reduce the effects for the future users. Scope and delimitation. The target respondents are bona fide citizens of Mendes Nunez Cavite, the minors, and also their parents who witness and observe the effects of using social media daily. The researchers want to raise the awareness and eventually help the beneficiary to reduce the effects and open the eyes of users in handling their responsibility. Significance of the study. The researchers have agreed that there is a need for more studies about this topic to raise awareness, especially to the minors. Although numerous studies have focused on the effect of social media on minors' mental health, very few focus on the minors' mentality. And there are only few studies locally. That is why it is also significant for us to conduct this study locally here in Mendes Cavite. This study is essential and will be beneficial to the following. The first one, which are the minors. As they were excessively exposed to social media, this research will help them to be aware of the potential effects of excessive screen time in social media and also help them to be a responsible user. Second one, the guardians or the parents. As they witness how their children is active on social media, this study will help them better know how can that behavior help and also as treat the minor, especially dealing with mentality. Besides, this study will help them gain factual information about the possible effects of excessive screen time on social media. With this, they will also be able to guide the minors to perform responsibly. The next one, the citizens. As a community, they may also experience such instances. That's why the study might help them to spread the facts and be implementers of goodness to the modern society. Next are the netizens or the social media users. As participants of this broad platform, the study will help them to set good terms and follow the right policy to use social media, not excessively that might destroy the human nature, but to, to use and teach about it fruitfully. Furthermore, as they learn a lot of information about this topic, they he can also be a huge help in spreading awareness in social media sites about this issue. The last one are the future researchers. For the future researchers, this will serve 
as their resource or their guide to conduct a similar study, a basis to give additional information and guide them how the importance of a such course. In addition, to much grow the meaning of technology and hold the essence of its usage carefully. On our conceptual framework, we have three boxes, which are the input, the process, and the output. At the first box, which is the input, we put the variables that causes the problem, phenomenon, or transformation, which are the miner's mentality, social media, and excessive screen time. Moving on to the process, which are the method by which variables are collected and synthesized. In our research, our analysis of data is through survey, through open-ended questionnaires. The last one is the output, the problem, phenomenon, or transformation, or simply the outcome of the variables, which is the effects of excessive screen time and social media among minors' mentality. As we have already learned the steps in preparing the study, now we move on to chapter 2, the review of related literature. For the past few years, since time consumption has drastically changed with the invasion of social media in all walks of our lives. Businesses and academics have been aroused with the wide application of social media and the way it transforms lives. Numerous studies has conducted to understand its increasing usage and impact on consumers' behavior. The motivation for conducting this systematic literature review is the existing gap in literature for our comprehensive studies on social media and consumer behavior. The excessive screen time on social media, according to GMA News Online 2022, the worldwide average of using cell phones is at 6 hours and 37 minutes. Social media platforms use algorithms to keep users coming back as often as possible for as long as possible. Could be said that this is designed to be addictive. It's essential their business model. It seems clear that social media, especially for girls, is more strongly associated with mental health issues than screen time in general. Watching TV and streaming services, for example, is less likely to lead to the issues of social media is not there. Including speaking of friends are doing without you, feeling pressure to post sexy pictures and to follow friends. Gaming is often a social activity, which might be why it's not as strongly associated with depression as social media. General internet use is also linked to depression at about the same rate as social media. Bertold of 2022 has explained that more time teens spend on social media, the less connected they feel to others. They are also more likely to compare themselves to unrealistic ideas. Adolescence is a critical development period during which important aspects of health and well-being are easily influenced. As electronic media use among adolescents climbs, Screens are increasingly incorporated into adolescents' development. For previous, excessive screen time can lead to a conduct disorder and a positional death death disorder, which are behavior disorders. We move on to another variable, minors' behavior towards the input. A reason why children cannot play outside and make their friends is because when the pandemic struck, as a result of their boredom, they are often seen with a phone or tablet app, watching videos and playing games. As pandemic rapidly spread in the world, a lot of online games and social media app has invented and popularized the time and is made for people to be entertained and communicate inside their households. Children saw this as an opportunity to talk and meet their friends again online. Preteens and teenagers use social media to have fun and maintain friendships, share and share interests, explore identities, and develop relationships with family. It's an extension of their offline and face-to-face -face interactions. According to Ms. Van Austin and Van Den Branch of 2022 study, 
Falkenberg and Peter, within the current chapter, the uses of different digital media and applications are discussed in the context of establishment of sexual identity. In particular, the chapter focuses on social media, sex, and online pornography. The literature has explained that the unique accordance of this media, for example, accessibility, anonymity, and asynchronous communication, invite adolescents to use them for the construction of sexual identity. The current chapter states adolescent sexually oriented digital media used by first describing adolescent sexual development. The chapter concludes with recommendations for future research that should have to bolster our understanding of adolescents' digital media interactions and their impact on sexuality. Ms. Van Austin and Van Des of 2022, aside from this last 2019, a reported circulation of two games or challenges aimed at causing harm and even death to mostly young players. This game, so called Momo Challenge, are circulating online target kids harm to harm themselves. According to Ramos from Internet, an 11 year old boy committed suicide inside the school in Quezon City. The group said that the kid was rushed into the hospital. To the care unit. Before his death, he, he uttered the words, I will follow my master. I will kill them all. The parent said that he learned this game and challenge from one of his clients, Laspin. The character named Momo is considered the master who allegedly instructs its victims to harm someone and then themselves. The character was supposedly cursed at the viewer and repeatedly told them that their loved ones will die if they would refuse the task assigned to them. This shocking news allowed a lot of parents and guardians to be extra vigilant. Vigilant when it comes to the exposure of their kids to the internet. There are also many ways in which technology can positively impact lives and those of children. It all depends on how the technology is being used. The internet provides access to a great deal of information and resources to help children learn about different topics. This is how for school projects or for researching areas of interest. This can also be a teachable moment by showing children how to seek through information to find reliable sources. In many ways, technology fosters creativity and learning new skills through various apps for all different ages. There are also many ways in which technology can positively impact lives and those children. It all depends on how technology is used. Last variable we have, parents' reaction towards finance behavior in social media. There is no doubt that social media enhances societal and development and personal growth because they are able to get useful information from the internet. Many lectures and teachings have been had through social media. However, social media has its downside in which when children are not well monitored, could affect their social media as they will Im imbibe the negative side is the incident. They do not have enough time to sit and discuss with their children. Many questions that are meant for parents to answer are asked and answered online. Therefore, they respect for others and others. Cultural heritage is no more valued by children and adults, according to Adigboye of 2012. Parenting has been has never been easy. Parents with young children themselves make clear they are anxious about the effects of screen time. Fully 71% of the parents of a child under the age of 12 say they are at least somewhat concerned about their child, including 31% who are very concerned about this. Children younger than age 2 are more likely to learn 
when they interact and play with parents, siblings, and other playmates. By age 2, children may benefit from some types of screen time, such as programming with music, movement, and stories. By watching together, a parent can help their child understand what he or she is seeing on the fly in their life. However, passive screen time shouldn't replace reading, playing, or problem solving. Other than these impacts, as a child grows, the guardian must keep in mind that too much or poor quality screen time has been linked to these possible effects. According to health effects of longer screen time in children from 2020, including obesity, regular sleep, behavioral problems, loss of social skills, violence, less time for play, and therefore parents also have key ones to play. To protect their children online threats, parents must guide and teach their children about the online safety at an early age. It is based from the well desk of 2020. Now we go on to synthesis. Engaging with online activities and interactivity is a primary cause of how the holders of the future, the minors to cope with different instances of today's society. This created a different perspective of how to connect and integrate one's Self to the universal platform, this where communication built. The applications of what the miners have gained from the internet matter as it creates what they will go through, which is the reflection of how they participate and often exceeds the limit of how time must be spent. Double time spent on social media doubles the effects. This can result in such disorders like myopia or nearsightedness, but objects further away look new. This time they put into also affects their there might be random variables that could also leave their actions being hindered because a careless action will lead to a regrettable result. Guardians play the most important role to guide and hold their children to be most precious viewers of society. Minors might engage easily with social activities, but it will depend on how they were guided by parents. Now we are done with chapter one and chapter two, and we are moving on from cha to chapter three, the methodology, the gathering of data. For the researchers to be able to be better be intact with the core of this study, identifying the effects of ex excessive screen time and social media among minors' mentality in Mendes Cavite, the researchers have used the qualitative design of research to have an open communication with the respondents and have a deep understanding of one's nature to determine the effects of excessive screen time on social media among minors mentality. This research will be conducted in the municipality of Mendes Nunez, province of Cavite. Within the academic year 2023, starting from the month of February up to present, the respondents involved are minors ages 13 to 17 and their parents. The respondents of this research study are minors for the particular reason that they are the ones who are more exposed to social media. The target population of this research is the Mendesenos, where areas the target sample or primary respondents are 10 minors and 10 parents, respectively. Residents of the municipality of Mendes who use social media. To, so, to, to achieve such target sample from population, the researchers will utilize simple random sampling technique, a type of probability sampling in which the researchers randomly select a subset of participants from the population. The researchers will use this type of sampling as the study focuses on the effects of excessive screen time on social media among minors' mentality. 
Therefore, the study requires the need for respondents who will share their experiences in using too much social media. A survey questionnaire will serve as the primary tool to get the participants' different perspective on how social media has been revolting to each every day. This questionnaire is in type of hard copy form that will be distributed for the aim to call out such responses of the minors and their parents. As for the gathering of data, a physical survey will be conducted in this research or through printed material with face-to-face -face interaction. On, on the actual survey, a content letter will be provided to the respondents to obtain their consent and willingly participating in the research along with the inform information with the research. It will be guaranteed that the information collected will be used strictly handled by the researchers with the utmost confidentiality. Once respondents agree, they will immediately be el eligible in taking the survey, while those who do not wish to participate have the right to decline. Once the data from the survey is collected, it was transcribed and analyzed. The answer on the survey questionnaire were interpreted or organized for the discussion purposes of the study. The responses was transcribed to ensure their integrity and accuracy of the responses and then prepared to be analyzed. The collected data was summarized and utilized for usable information for this study. The transcribed data was used to interpret participants' personal information about the effects of excessive screen time in social media in minors' mentality in Mendes Cavite. Then a brief rechecking of the transcript was done to ensure the accuracy of the interpretation. After we've learned the first three chapters of the research, we now head to chapter four, analysis. It is the presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. This chapter presents, analyzes, and interprets the data collected from the students and parents of Mendes Nunez Cavite in determining the effects of excessive screen time on social media on minors' mentality. We now head to the presentation of data. After the collection of data, the researchers have analyzed and criticized each of the answers vigilantly. The survey questionnaires were divided into three parts according to their variable and had a total of 15 questions to be answered by the respondents. One of the variables is excessive screen time on social media. Minors' behavior on social media, and lastly, parents' reaction towards minors' behavior on social media. The first variable, excessive screen time on social media, this variable aims to provide the amount of time the respondents use their social media. As for a result, according to the respondents, they often access their social media after every house chores, when they have free time to check for updates, and to ease their boredom. Some of them spend their time browsing and scrolling through their social media, resulting them often forget such things as homeworks and household activities. On the other hand, they also have how social media bring purpose and importance to their lives. Several of them said that social media benefits them to interact with people, to be updated on news and school announcements, to share information for motivation, networking, and research purposes. Variable 2 is minus behavior towards social media. This variable focuses on the actions of minors on social media, especially teenagers. The minors are known for the face of social media. A lot of famous trends posts are mostly created by the teenagers and minors, which leads the researchers to ask the respondents how often they share random stuff on social media. Due to the things they share and see on social media, the respondents admitted that social media affected the way they live and communicate with others. They prefer communicating English using slang words from social media and lost their motivation to communicate and socialize in the real world. And they often forget to respond in the spend of time with their family. In spite of that, social media help them boost their confidence, 
from positive posts to understand people's perspective on a certain issue. The third variable is the parents' reaction towards minors', minors behavior on social media. The parents of the respondents share their observations. Most of them notice change in their child's behavior. Their child often skip meals, use their cell phones a lot of time, don't have time for the family, lazy to obey their parents, often mood swings, has their own world, and do not want to go outside and interact with others. When they notice that their child is spending too much time on social media, parents will immediately tell them to stop using their gadgets, or even some parents are busy working, they still making sure that they can monitor and discuss their child's usage on social media. Several parents said that they have trust in their child and is already responsible for their actions. Now we head on to 4.3, interpretation of data. After the collection and gathering of data and answers from the respondents, the researchers came up with an analysis of the different types of themes that connect to the research topic itself. First team is time management. From our respondents, when we can see that they have allotted time using social media and other activities, they prioritize important things to do like schoolworks and chores before using social media, but still, some respondents use their phones on average three to five hours a day to stay updated on news and announcements. Some of them use their phones on their free time, but most respondents often use their social media accounts right after they wake up or every time they open, the, they open their phones. Based on the answers, we can say that they use social media for communication and entertainment, but they do not forget to do their responsible responsibilities before using social media. Our respondents use time management to do their obligation first before using their free time to do other things. Our second theme is app manipulation. Most of our respondents choose Facebook, TikTok, and Messenger. This social media allows teens to create online identities, communicate with others, entertain themselves, and sometimes express themselves or their emotions. Participant one said, the website that I always visit is TikTok when I'm bored because I don't do anything at home and I'm too lazy to go out because it's too hot. The internet is full of a lot of amazing things that won't let you get bored. Some of the participants prefer to use Messenger to communicate with their friends, family, and other people. Participant 9 said that I frequently use Messenger to communicate with my family and friends, as well as for academic purposes. Moreover, teenagers also use Facebook to seek out information or updates about different kinds of content. There are also other apps that they use, but Facebook TikTok and Messenger are the ones that they commonly use in their daily lives. Third thing is online interaction. Based on the answers of the respondents that were analyzed by the researchers, they use social media websites for various purposes such as communication, entertainment, information and news updates, and lastly educational purposes. It also allows the users to join trends but most of our respondents prefer not to join. Participant 8 said no because I sometimes find trends irrelevant. While some of our respondents join depending on one, what the, is the trend. It Participant 2 said that it depends on the trend. Of course, when I know that the trend is bad for me, I will not do it. But when the trend is good, then I'll do it. Aside from that, posting pictures, sharing posts, Commenting and reacting to posts are some of our interactions done on social media. Our respondents are not into posting pictures, but when it comes to commenting and reacting posts, they do it a lot. Participants said that, I really post pictures, but when it comes to commenting and reacting, I do it. I do that a lot. Since social media is dominant nowadays, especially among minors, it affected the way they live and communicate. Respondent 6 said that maybe because when I started using social media, I lose my interest in going out and in interacting with them, referring to family and friends. That, that they lose their interest in going out and hanging out with their friends and family and doing physical activities.
Now, heading on to theme 4, response to obligation. As per observations and analysis of the answers of the participants, social media affected the way they communicate. Some says social media made them lazy to do such things. Some of them prefer to stay at home or use their cell phones instead of going out with their loved ones. Maybe because when I started using social media, I lose my interest in going outside and interact with them, said participant 6. Moreover, in communicating, one of the respondents used to speak and chat in English. He also utilized trendy words similar to participant 10 who used slang words like sheesh, omsim, and etc. Moreover, the researchers also asked the parents of the respondents about the changes on their child's behavior. Many of them stated that their child become lazy and moody. They also observed that their child don't have time to talk or have conversations with them. Some of them take their meals late and got sick, causes headache, stomach ache, said the parent of participant 3. On the other hand, 2 out of 10 of the parents stated that they don't observe changes in their child's behavior. Knows how to balance his time on using his phone. Parent of participant her studies are improving because she can learn things see she's on social media, said, said the parent of participant 6. Team 5. Guidance and Supervision Growing is something that could give us different expectation of what kind of fruit can bear or will be. This is also what the researchers saw on how the parents responded. Guidance is what we require to see a good outcome just like what the respondents came to. Yes, a lot of changes, no time to talk, or conversations. Sometimes they take their meal late and got sick that causes headache and stomach ache. Many more side effects, but on the other hand, like cell phone, it is useful in many aspects, like video calls and emergency messages, said the parent of participant of minor kids. The mentality of minors could be still and requires a need for provision because falling can always happen. Parents as the main supervisor can fill up this need as a minor's action can be a street giving them the effects of excessiveness. It is present that the essence and benefit of the cell phone is in the surface. But if someone like the minor is pertained to it can abuse the usage of it and gain huge change. A change that they can carry to the rise or to the fall. So, parental guidance is their hope. It can brighten their minds, choose the good, and benefit from it always. We use an app where we can monitor their use of social media, especially the younger ones on their phones were connected to my email. So I will know what their apps this, said the parent of the participant. Then. When a parent knows something that is not trusted that can bring good, he or she intervenes because they don't want their child to be misled. It is their nature to secure their child's being even if it takes such difficulty. The monitor they provide will give the child awareness that their parents are concerned with. The parents will also have that relief, especially if the flow of social media usage that their child reflects is in a good flow. The knowledge of children could be narrow, opening such sites that are prohibited and plain. Sometimes, that is not for minors. There is a limitation to their actions that the parents want to ensure. Every day, we really discuss that use of cell phone must be put on right time said the parent of minor six. Keeping in touch with what a child, knowing that he or she is not alone and people around with him as parents, widening the range and understanding of their children is something that can bring child forth and teach them to be mindful. A reminder that everything the child have must handle responsibly would really open their minds in minors dealing with social activities online. They do it not for their own sake, but for the child's sake.
Now I'm here in front of you to discuss the final chapter, which is the chapter 5. This chapter aims to present the summary, conclusion, and recommendation of the research study, The Effects of Excessive Screen Time on Social Media Among Minors Mentality. Summary of the findings. This study aims to identify the excessive screen time among minors, give factors influencing the overspend and overuse of social media, and state the effects of excessive screen time on minors' mentality. It was conducted on Mendes Nunez Cavite with 20 respondents, 10 minors, and 10 parents. The researchers used open-ended questionnaire to collect raw data from, from the respondents, which were then presented, analyzed, and interpreted using graphical representation. Reasons of social media engagement. Minors are using social media to relieve self-boredom and gain happiness. They also use it to reach friends and, and relatives and keep up with contemporary updates. The enjoyment brought by their chatmates is an aid to any moment they cannot find something to do in their home. There are some advantages and disadvantages in excessive screen time on social media. The accessibility of social media apps has enabled users to meet new people and gain new friends. It has also served as a platform for learning and improvement, especially for young and teenagers. However, the threat of harm is still active, such as discrimination and cyberbullying. Minors have experienced the fear of going outside and the forgotten presence of family members inside the house. Additionally, they have built a self-system of focusing on gadgets and declining tasks over, offered by their parents, which could lead to breaking a respect for them. Conclusion Screen time management on social media has been observed by minors who spend an average of three to five hours online regularly. Parents play an important role in raising awareness about the consequence of using social media. However, the trail of having fun online can lead to, ne to neglect a relationship with neighbors, friends, and families. The researchers concluded that so social media can make a significant change in a person's life but it will still depend on how they apply it in real life. Here are some recommendations from the researchers for conducting a research. The researchers suggest a study about the colonization of, of various races in the Philippines and its effect on Filipino mentality. To formulate a good study, researchers should do background research. Doing background research helps you choose a topic that you'll be comfortable with and develop a sense of, of what research you'll need to do. Understand the objectives. Understanding the objectives of your research, describe what your research is trying to achieve and explain why, are you, why you are pursuing it. Choose suitable research method. Choosing suitable research method you want to use to your research. Expect the unexpected. Always expect the unexpected because we're not sure what are the, the result or final outcome of our research and what will happen while doing your research. Maintain enthusiasm. Maintaining enthusiasm, recall and remember why do you do your research and what the purpose of it. Be, em be empathic but maintain objectivity. And lastly, Analyze the thought with college you. Based on the researcher's experience, these tips can help you to formulate a good study and can help you to do it with ease. Good luck and may God bless you.